It's been 10 long years on YouTube, and here we are for a quick wee Q&A. First ever Q&A, right, so we're going to dive straight into the comments, but before we do that, it's going to be a special giveaway regarding this 10 year anniversary. If you want a ticket, now a singular ticket, to go to Rangers against Sparta Prague on Thursday, I'm going to put up a poll, right, and essentially what it is, just comment anything, doesn't really matter, like, comment, subscribe, blah, 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 right, comment something on that poll, and then I will, in a day or two, I will do random number generator, I will select news first on the poll, and then how many comments there is, say there's 20, I'll do random number generator, and bang, whichever um, number it lands on, you get the ticket, because I, sadly I can't get to the game, but I will be going to the game against uh, Lamisol, so looking forward to that later on in the month, wish I could go to this one, but I just can't, and uh, yeah, I thought, well, you know what, may as well give the ticket away in a wee 10 year anniversary giveaway, uh, the ticket is in Sandy Jardine, you know, I need to, I need to actually look um, where it is, but point is, it's a ticket, it's actually quite close to the pitch, so I think it's, oh, where is it? Wait, uh, you know what, probably should have done a wee bit more research into this giveaway, giveaway worth to see as, I can't actually necessarily remember, but the details will all be included in the giveaway, and then I will DM the winner on Twitter and give them the QR code. It's really that simple. Um, but of course, got to verify who you are, big man on Twitter. But anyway, let's dive into these comments and see how it's going. Robo Trot Trot. Robot Rock, sorry, I keep saying this guy's name wrong, he pointed it out before, right? <laughs> How has it been in the last 10 years being a Rangers fan? Well, I'll tell you what, right? You know, it's, it's hard to describe, really. I mean, like, like if you're looking at, like, the first year of the 10 years, I mean, back then, it was very bleak, right? And you could accept where we were as a club for a number of years. But what, I, honestly, it almost hurts more what's happened since we won 55 and how we let them get ahead of this that almost to me hurts more now here i'm not saying during that period where you you were rocking up to every old firm and it was getting beat 6-0 i'm not saying that was easy to take of course it wasn't but to me uh, uh, the last 10 years have been shite there's it's been the ultimate highs it's been the ultimate lows <laughs> and honestly i mean obviously the lows outweigh the highs and um what would the biggest low be obviously the last 10 years take takes us back to 2013 so it's not quite the dying embers of 2012 but that that europa league final that hit different and uh, that's probably the worst moment i've felt in the last 10 years i think most people would probably agree with me on that because like you know losing the league doesn't really happen over one game but losing a european final on penalties certainly happens in the moment i'll let you know that brian Rudy has said favorite video you've done um i mean i've literally made that many videos man it would be it would be hard to sieve through it but i liked the video earlier this year where i talked about um Pretty much quitting the job, quitting the Royal Mail. So make sure you go check out if you haven't seen it. And basically just talking about the ambition for YouTube. Doing this full time, not only doing it in this channel, I've got loads of other channels, to be honest. I also have loads of other channels and then never leave the link. But I will probably will have to do it one day. I mean, Fog Football. I'm sure most people that are on this channel know about Fog Football. But there's Fog Entertainment, there's Fog Wrestling, and a few others out there making that hard money. And, uh... Yeah, but favourite fit I've done, I mean, I'm not saying that's the favourite fit, but I'm talking about, like, actually being able to talk about life. Of course, winning the league, I mean, 55 was great. Um, honestly, like, even just, like, part ones of Korean Wood about six years ago, because I just found it so fun back then. Now it's all right, but you grow up a bit, you know what I mean? And uh, I probably, like, the first match day vlog, that was fun to do, actually filming at Ibrox. I'm not really one for doing all that. I don't mind filming the odd bit, but I like to just watch the game. I know some people aren't. I know most of the people that do it aren't really supporters of the team. Obviously, you do get people that are supporters of the team. That's any team, not just Rangers. But I like to go and just watch. I don't mind filming the odd thing, but for me, I just like to go and watch. Um, but yeah, there's so many to pick from. Um, Stevie G's Army, favourite current Rangers player? Honestly, I, I don't really know who my favourite player is, like, I don't really have a go-to, like, I like Cantwell, right, but 
it, it's weird. Like normally I would have a player with Rangers, like, oh I want them on the score sheet for more reason, you know, but we got rid of like, you know, a lot of people's favourite was like Morelos, Kent their degree, Arfield, and more or less everyone loved Arfield, I and mean, you know, there's a few other players that have left over the years, you know, recent years, I guess. <laughs> I don't it's just like McGregor, a lot of people's favourite would have been McGregor. For me, right now in this team, I don't really have that much of a close connection with one sole person. But for me, a guy who gets it is Cantwell, and I do like Cantwell. I feel like, you know, like the guys that have been long servants, so to speak, like a Tavernier, Barisic, Goldson, I feel like there's almost been too much hurt involved with them to even associate one of them as my favourite. So I'm going to go with Cantwell, and I say if that's not like Cantwell's one, you know, quadruples with us, like maybe hopefully he will. But uh, yeah, so I go with Todd Cantwell right now. End of the next comment. Best memory on YouTube, well, does this necessarily need to be me, or does it necessarily need to be, I don't fuck, I don't know, man, honestly, um, best memory, oh, that's what I'll go with, making enough money to cope in the, in the real world, without having to rely on, you know, an actual job, because this is YouTube, that's my best memory, now, obviously, there's been great moments, and it's kind of similar to a favourite fed, but in terms of the best memory, getting that first paycheck and being like, that's no bad, that's no bad, I can deal with that. You know, paying for trips, paying for, you know, uh, presents, all that sort of shit, with your with YouTube money, for talking about what you love, that's a good, that's a good game. Um, Gav Henrad says, favourite Rangers player in your lifetime. So, lifetime, honestly, I know, I know it's generic, but I just, I love McCoy. I mean, I mean, obviously he's like, you know, he's like one of the greatest players ever to play for Rangers, but just seeing him, like, when he's commentating, he just brings a smile on your face. The stories he tells, whether it be about himself or Gaza or whatever, and obviously, you know, his playing career was a bit before I was born, just a wee bit, but that doesn't mean you can't appreciate it. I mean, you can obviously have watched all the moments. And, like, it's honestly a pleasure just to hear him and, like, watch him. Like, when you see him pre presenting games, commentating, um, just love the guy, man. The guy is just phenomenal. Ali McCoy's hands down, it is. It is. And I, I know you're saying in my lifetime, so he did, re I think he retired, mate. I think he retired. He wasn't playing for Rangers when I was born, but... In terms of, right, since 2000, then, we'll go with playing for Rangers. I mean, I cannot answer in uh, two and one here. Um, two, since 2000, who's my favourite Rangers player? I do like Nacho Novo. I do like Nacho Novo. Um, had a soft spot for Lovenkrantz as well. Um... No, no, no! Another reason why it's a soft spot for Lovenkrantz. That that meme about his dog is honestly undisputed. That that ah, oh, can't wait to see him grow up and score against Celtic like his dad, and it's a big fucking Labrador. Um, McGregor, you know, more recently, I did love Morelos. I really did. It's a shame the way it ended. I love the El Buffalo Soldier. So yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of names of one in there. Um, Mister Freeland says, "Who won a record in treble last season?" Well. Let's see what the reply is. Uh, it was Celtic, of course. Um, I'm not allowed to see the comment. Fair enough. I'm not going to give our hearts up. Favourite food? Honestly, favourite food? Okay. <sighs> favourite food? I mean, black pudding. I honestly see a roll on black pudding with red sauce. That's fucking phenomenal. Um, or battered, battered, a, a black a black pudding supper? Or, uh -oh. you know, a uh, special fish supper or TJ Fryers, if you know, you know. Um, Honestly, an ice and ring. Uh, there's, there's so many fucking food, man. There, there is, like, obviously, you know, I do like the brands as well, like McDonald's and shit, but oh, fuck, man, I'm a greedy fat bastard, man. I could fucking eat anything, to be perfectly honest. Um... Kenny thirty seven six one, dressing gown or house coat? It's a fucking house coat, and if you call it a dressing gown, I think you need your fucking hard drive checked, all right? Because, right, a dressing gown is for like you know 
you wear it while you're like, you know, preparing yourself to get dressed. A house coat, you can just, it's a coat that you wear in your house all day. I mean, if you want to wake up in the morning at 10 a.m. And, and you stay up for like 14 hours and you go to bed at midnight and you wear a house coat, it's because you, you, you're essentially wearing a coat in your house. A dressing gown is something you use while you get dressed. I'm not saying you, you can obviously use a house coat in the same effect as a dressing gown, but come on, dressing gown, fucking wise up, big man. That's not to you, Kenny. Um, Big Sons the Fruit, 3497, says, Glasgow or Edinburgh? Um, both are uh, great in their own ways, but honestly, I would go with, I would go to, I, I would go with Edinburgh. Obviously, you know, from Glasgow, well, Airdrie, you know, spent a lot more time in Glasgow than um, Edinburgh. And, Glasgow feels more Scottish. I don't know when you when you go to Edinburgh, like yeah, it's it is the the, the two, it's you know it's the number one tourist hotspot. But then there is certain areas about Glasgow, and you think, can I really pick this over Edinburgh? But you know, Edinburgh's got a lot of things like going up Arthur's Sea. I love doing that. I mean, the castle, cool action scene castle. You know, there's not rats the size of fucking Ibrox running about the streets of Edinburgh. Well, there is rats still, but, you know, but there's so many things I like about both. But I would probably go with Edinburgh, but here, yeah, it's a toss-up, man. But anyway, guys, that's it for this q and I'll probably do more q and down the line. But thank you so much for this journey, man. Ten years, I will never retire. I'll be doing this damn fucking deed. Six feet under, but make sure you comment on the giveaway post. Because who doesn't want a ticket to Big Phil's Europa League match against the mighty Sparta Prague? But until then, peace.